Now this question is related to Van der Waal equation. Question says, if one mole of an ideal gas were confined to 22.41 liter at 0 degree centigrade, it would exert a pressure of 1 atmospheric pressure. Use the Van der Waal equation to estimate the pressure exerted by one mole of chlorine gas in 22.41 liter at 0 degree centigrade and value of Van der Waal constant A and B is given here and the gas constant value R is also given. So we have to apply Van der Waal equation. So we have Van der Waal equation that is P plus A N square by V square B minus N B is equals to N R T. We have to find pressure so let us solve for pressure. So we will have P plus A N square by V square is equals to N R T by V minus N B and then for P is equals to N R T by V minus N B and this goes minus A N square by V square. So we have two term first term this and second term this. So let us calculate these two terms separately. So this is first term and this is second term. So let us do calculation for first term that is N R T divided by V minus N B. N is number of moles. So question says for one mole of chlorine gas. So this is one mole and R value is given 0 0.08206 so 0 0.08206 and unit is liter into atmospheric pressure and this divided by mole into Kelvin and temperature is 0 degree centigrade so this is 273 Kelvin now volume is given, volume is 22.41 liter. So this is 22.41 liter and this minus N is 1 mole into B. B value is 0 0.0562. So this is 0 0.0562. Let us write this mole into Kelvin slightly away so we have mole into Kelvin so unit is 0 0.0562 liter per mole so this is liter and divided by mole so mole mole cancels so we will have this term that is NRT by V minus NV term so here we have mole so B minus N B mole cancels, Kelvin cancels and liter will also cancel if I take common. So let us take in the next step 0 0.08206 multiplied by 273 and liter into atmospheric pressure and this divided by 22.4 and take liter outside so 0 0.0562 and liter is outside so liter cancels out so we will have 0 0.08206 multiplied by 273 and this divided by 22.41 minus 0 0.0562 atmospheric pressure so let us calculate this value so we will have 0 0.08206 into 273 and this divided by 22.41 minus 0 0.0562 so this value comes out to be 1.0021 so this is one point zero zero one atmospheric pressure 
Now let us calculate the second term that is a n square by v square. So second term we have a into n square by v square and the value of a is given a is 6.49 liter square into atmospheric pressure 6.49 liter square into atmospheric pressure and this divided by mole square and n is 1 mole so this is 1 mole square and volume is 22.41 whole square and this will be liter square so liter square cancels mole square also cancels so we will have 6.49 divided by 22.41 whole square into atmospheric pressure so let us calculate this value 6.49 and this divided by 22.41 and let us say this value is further divided by 22.41 that is 0 0.289602 and this is divided by 22.41 so this value is 0 0.0129 that is around 0 0.013 so 0 0.013 now we can put this value to calculate total pressure so we have total pressure is equals to term 1 minus term 2 term 1 is 1.0021 and this minus 0 0.013 so this value is 1.0021 minus 0.013 so this is 0.989 so 0.989 approximately 0.99 atmospheric pressure so if I have chlorine gas that is real gas chlorine is basically real gas so in case of real gas pressure will not be one atmospheric pressure it will be less than one atmospheric pressure and pressure is 0 0.99 atmospheric pressure if you see these two term basically this term 1.0021 this term is for this one value of this term is 1.0021 and value of this term is basically 0 0.013 you see here 0 0.013 so this term has a value of 0 0.013 so you see this is basically for volume correction since volume is reduced so pressure will be increased from one atmospheric pressure because this volume is the ideal volume but real volume is V minus NB since I am reducing the volume so pressure will increase and that's why this is greater than one atmospheric pressure so this term is coming due to the volume correction and this term is coming due to the pressure correction and if you combine these two so volume correction and pressure correction you see final pressure is coming less than one atmospheric pressure so I can say in this case pressure correction is dominating and that's why this is coming less than 1 volume correction is increasing the pressure but the pressure correction is decreasing the pressure so in this case pressure correction is dominating to the volume correction so in this case pressure correction is dominating the volume correction so this is important point problem whenever you have real gas pressure will be either greater than one atmospheric pressure or it is less than one atmospheric pressure it will depend upon which term is dominating either volume correction term is dominating 
or it is the pressure correction term that is dominating. So if pressure correction term dominates, it will have less than one atmospheric pressure and if volume correction dominates, it will have one at greater than one atmospheric pressure. 